It's finally 50 degrees here in New York City, and I'm in short sleeves. But on the same day in the fall, I'd be putting on a parka. Every spring, I wonder how the same temperature can feel so different. So this year, I decided to call an expert to find out. The human body is very good at what we call acclimatizing to different environmental situations that are not permanent. Turns out it's not just in our heads. Kara Ochbach studies how people adapt to extreme conditions, and she says that our bodies do physically change in response to our environment. They acclimatize to heat, cold, humidity, dryness, even altitude. The changes start pretty quickly, within about 24 hours, but they don't fully set in for 7 to 10 days. Then they'll stick around until you change environments again. So what changes are happening in our bodies during a cold winter to make those first days of spring feel so warm? Well, for one, Ochbach tells me that our bodies will actually increase their resting metabolism, which is basically the baseline number of calories we burn in order to stay alive. The idea is, is your body is kind of increasing its own thermostat to produce more heat since you are losing more heat to the environment. So that's one reason why it feels warmer. Our internal thermostat is set higher in the winter, and our body hasn't had a chance to adjust it back down yet. Another way our body adapts has to do with something called brown adipose tissue, or brown fat, which is pretty different from the white fat we're more familiar with. This brown adipose tissue is very, very rich in mitochondria, which everyone listening at home likely just said, the powerhouse of the cell. And that is true. So brown adipose tissue's got tons and tons and tons of mitochondria. And instead of being the powerhouse of the brown adipose tissue cell, it's the furnace. So instead of producing energy for the body, brown fat produces heat. And it's brown because of all those mitochondria. What Akbach has seen in her research is that brown fat seems to be more efficient at producing heat in the winter than in the summer. It's possible we may also have more brown fat in the winter, but that's still an active area of study and we don't know for sure. But in the meantime, we know that it's there and that it helps keep us warm in the winter. It might also do a better job of that if you grew up in a colder climate. The more you are exposed to cold during critical developmental periods as a child, the more active and responsive your brown adipose tissue may be as an adult. Where you grow up likely has a massive, massive impact on how your body responds to different extremes and, and changes in seasonal temperatures. That might help explain why my New England friends won't stop drinking iced coffee in the dead of winter. But seriously, all of our bodies acclimatize to the cold, and Ochbach says these changes still happen even if we spend much of the winter inside. The changes are just more significant the more time you spend outdoors. So know that it's not just in your head that these first warm days of spring feel so balmy. It's in your body too. And enjoy it while it lasts because it's only a matter of time before your body adjusts again.